How's it going, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor here, and that's right, we have a battle video today. This battle right here was a really fun match between myself and Trainer Leo on Twitter. Now, we did battle before in Pokemon X and Y, but now we're in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Leo had the passion to come back to battling me because he was watching the he was watching the Pokemon World Championships a few weeks ago. And I was too, but he was watching a little bit more than I was and he decided to have a couple of double battles which I'm not really good at and now we're having singles. We had three battles with the same team or the teams that you're looking at on the screen here. This was one of the best battles that we had, so. I have a, from Pokemon to left to right, respectively here. I have a Heatran, Nigo King, Cresselia, Qualitzer, Zoroark, and Dragonair. I pair up Heatran and Cresselia because of interesting synergy there. And I pack a Nigo King. There, so we have Heatran and Leo King weak to water, and I was like, okay, I should probably pick a water type, so I settled in on Qualitzer. And then to have a little bit of shenanigans, I should say, we are going to pack Zoroark to the back here because we can disguise as things, even though it's not really that Pokemon, and you can fool your opponent that way. Alright, so we're going to start out with Heatran. Not going to work out too well against Hitmonchan, who's going for a Drain Punch, which would be super effective against it, and to take care of that, we have Cresselia, so that's kind of why I like the Heatran and Cresselia core. Now here, I was expecting him to switch, because why would he stay in uh, Cresselia like that? So we end up going for Thunder Wave, and that's great, because we paralyze the Porygon Z, and I know from experience that the Porygon Z is most likely carrying a Choice Scarf. After I paralyze the Porygon Z, we're going to go for a Light Screen, and after that Light Screen, which has the special moves coming from Porygon Z, the damage output is decreased. I go for Psy Shocking. Actually, we were we were both talking on voice chat. I was like, I didn't want to switch out for some reason. I thought it would be like really weird because I, I knew he was scarfed. I was thinking, okay, he might switch out and go into something and take care of the Cresselia, who would be a lot more appropriate because of the light screen being up. I would think he was switching to a physical attacker, but... Yeah, we were just like chatting about things and we're like staying in here, just, you know, throwing shadow balls and side shots at each other. Like, it's just, it's wonderful. It's just great. He was trying to stall out the screens. That's all he's doing there. And finally, I was expecting him to switch. And we do a double switch. I actually go into my Zoro arc, disguised as my dragon there, so we are going to be in a situation where I have a Lumberry on this Zoroark, so the Sleep Powder is going to be useless for that turn. I go for Flamethrower, but that's not going to do that much for some reason. Darn it, Zoroark. Your damage output is kind of ridiculous right now. But I don't want anyone else to put, or, uh, how should I say it? I didn't want anyone else to go to sleep besides Cresselia, in my opinion. Just, that's my opinion. You guys might be screaming at me like, Why would you do this to Cresselia? But, you know, having Cresselia as Sleep Fogger, all of my other Pokemon that I have on the team are attacking Pokemon. So they have a specific role, and their one rule is don't put that Pokemon to sleep. So, we're going to sell this on having Cresselia go to sleep. Fortunately, though, we have the first turn rake, and we paralyze the Porygon, or 
Yeah, I paralyzed the Porygon Z earlier, but now we paralyzed the Butter Free, which is great because Porygon, or, ah, Butter Free, wow. Butter Free set up Quiver Dances, and he was boosting up his speed stats, so great job, Cresselia. You're doing really well. Your willpower is seriously through the roof right now. All right, so we have S Cadrill here setting up. I expected that, so we're going to go for a reflect. Now, just like light screen, it cuts down physical attacks. So reflect and light screen are basically the same thing, but it's physical and special, that kind of thing. I go for Psy Shock, Psy Shock, if I can say it right. I go for Psy Shock to break his balloon, and I was like, I really don't want to switch out because he he obviously was predicting me to switch out which is why he went for his sword stance instead of attacking me and I'm like I don't want anyone to take a plus four earthquake or iron head he goes for earthquake now of course he has world breaker so my ability levitate will not work or it is nullified because of mold breaker <sighs> all right yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So the Earthquake is going to work against Cresselia. So Cresselia, you did a ton of work this match. I am really happy about that. And the reason I didn't want anyone to take a hit from the Axter Drill is that I can have a free switch in the Claw Sir. I'm choice scarf in this battle, so I'll be faster than most things on the field on my opponent's side. Claw Sir has Water Pulse, Dark Pulse, Aura Sphere, and Dragon Pulse. A lot of coverage here. Expecting a fighting type move coming from the Hitmonchan. I go with the Nego King. Now, a Life Orb, Sheer Force, Stab. It's not super effective though, but that Swords Wave from that power is just not enough. And we see the bulk or the special bulk of Hitmonchan. I go with the Dragon there. Nope. You mad bro? You mad bro? It's my Zoroark in disguise. That's my shiny Zoroark that I got from Wonder Trade. And we're going to test him out. He wasn't here for long, but he went for foul play. We barely missed on the KO, which is like, uh, that is a little bit unfortunate. So yeah, I got you guys fooled. That's the power of your illusion ability. You get to fool people when you're facing someone, or if you're watching this video, you got fooled. There you go. Anyway, so with that being said, we're going to go back into the closer and go with a water pulse and then we switch out because I don't want to go for a water pulse on the Altaria, which is going to go Mega. We see I'm going Mega. Mega Altaria is kind of like, it has a weird design, a really weird design for one thing. And I, I really don't like this Pokemon, but it's, it's very efficient in my opinion. Wow, okay. So anyway, so I um I let Heatran go to sleep, which is okay. I mean I don't really like there's really nothing that Altaria can do against the Heatran from experience. I, I really don't I'm trying to think of a way for Heatran to be kind of destroyed by an Altaria. I don't see that working out. So yep, Heatran walls Altaria there. I am uh, we do have Slowbro, which is like, okay, we have Dragon there. This is a real deal, guys, because Zoroark is gone, of course. So now we can set up on it. I was expecting him to switch out for some reason. I don't know. But he has Toxic, so I don't know. That's just, we do set up, but I was not expecting him to go for Toxic. We're going to set up again. Yep, we're going to sweep. And the reason I'm trying to set up a lot is because, of course, Dragon is immune to fairy types. And I know that the Mega Altaria is a fairy type, so that's kind of why I went for Dragon Dance. And why didn't I say that earlier? I don't know. But here I go for Extreme Speed, and we do predict the Altaria coming in. But that's not enough, apparently, because that did that much to that Altaria. So, you know, we lose Dragon there. But that's okay, we're going to go for Water Pulse. I'm really fishing for a a confusion type deal because there's a chance of Water Pulse to confuse the opponent. And if you've watched my videos a long time ago, then you would know that Water Pulse gets the confusion and 
if you set up a lot, you hit yourself more in confusion if you're confusing yourself. Ah, <sighs> so much explaining, ugh, okay. So anyway, we lose Colossor, I think, I'm not really sure, but, uh, whatever. I'm too lazy to go back, but you guys know what happened. I wake up here, I go for Toxic. This is Leo's last Pokemon, by the way, and I, yeah, okay, I did not lose Colossor. Good, because I need Colossor to come in safely, so I'm right here, right here, I'm, I'm forcing him to KO my Heatran, so that way I can bring in Colossor and go for Dark Pulse, which would be super effective because Slowbro is part Psychic. And we also have Porygon Z, who's also paralyzed, but he's at low health, so no matter what he's going to do, I'm going to pretty much clean up here with Colossor. So this was a long battle. Oh my god, that was just a, it was a great match. Overall, I enjoyed it. So, you know, thank you a lot, Leo, for challenging me. We're going to have more matches in the near future. No doubt about that. So here we go. We go for Dark Pulse and we take care of the Porygon Z. And, yep, Slowbro is going to not take a hit because this is a special move and Slowbro does not have that good special defense to take the hit. So we defeat Leo there, nice transition, and we win the match. Alright, so with that in the books guys, I will hopefully have another upload here later this week. And this was a really long upload. Holy crap, I haven't had this long of an upload in like forever. But if you enjoyed this battle video, hit that like button. Subscribe. I hope my narration wasn't so bad. I kind of make a few mistakes, but I bounce back from those mistakes. And I move on with my narration. All right. Have a great day, trainers. I'll see you on Saturday with a new upload. Have a great day, everyone.